Hi, do you know what's good to eat while drinking on a cold rainy day? Crispy pata or crispy pork leg? This one's so easy. Start by boiling an entire front pork leg with whole black peppercorns, salt, dry bay leaves, spring onions tied like a balloon animal, see, a crab, and some cloves of crushed garlic. Now you can do this either on a casserole for around one and a half to two hours, depending on the size of your pork leg, or you can do it in a pressure cooker for around 30 minutes or until pork tender. Then after, let it cool in room temperature and stab the skin multiple times with skewers or a fork. Dose it with fish sauce to add flavor. Then keep it refrigerated for at least an hour, ideally overnight, until the skin gets dry and the fish sauce is absorbed. One hour later. Try your best to dry the pork skin so that the hot oil won't violently splatter everywhere while frying. You can sprinkle some salt if you feel that the fish sauce wasn't absorbed enough. Now carefully, as in carefully, lower your pork leg gently in the hot oil and quickly cover with a lid. Then I put something heavy on top of the lid for some extra safety measures. After 10 to 15 minutes, check your pork leg if the skin is getting crispy. You can actually deep fry this but it's too dangerous to do it in my current setup. It's been raining since I started filming this. So I will think I'll make a cup of coffee while waiting for my crispy pata to crisp up. Waiting for this to get crispy on a medium high heat for about 30 to 45 minutes is probably the hardest part of cooking crispy pata but I think we're almost there. So while waiting. Let's make the dipping sauce. We'll start with a couple of cloves of garlic, crushed and chopped. Add equal amounts of vinegar and soy sauce, about a teaspoon of salt and black pepper. And I remember I have one green chili in the garden. Let's use that. And I'm adding some of my homemade chili garlic oil for some extra heat. Set up. See? Extra heat. I got to be honest. There's no actual cooking time because this will depend on the size of the pork leg and how well done and crispy you want it to be. Just be sure not to overcook it. And when you done it right, you'll be rewarded with crunchy and crispy pork skin and juicy meat. I mean, just listen to this. So there you have it. If you like this episode of Low Key Cooking, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye! Ah. Nah, look.